Baby Driver is directed by Edgar Wright and stars Ansel Elgort, Lily James, and Kevin Spacey. So this movie is about a young, talented getaway driver named Baby. He's trying to get out of this world of crime, but certain parties won't let him. And after some unexpected turn of events, it makes it even hard for him to get out. Now going into this film, I didn't know what to expect. I don't think I even remember seeing a trailer for this, but from the very first shot of this movie, I was in. I absolutely love this movie. I don't think I've ever seen an Edgar Wright film that I didn't like. I mean, I love his style of editing. His cuts are so smart and precise. And in this film, he uses a lot more longer takes than I'm used to seeing him in. If you compare this to another film that he directed with Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, those were very abrupt and really quick editing. And there is some quick editing in this film, but for the most part, I think he uses a lot more long takes. And when a one is usually used in the film, directors have to be smart about how they pace it out and where the frame is. And with Edgar Wright especially, especially even with his short takes, there's no wasted space in any of his frames. And that's one thing I really like about his films. I also like Edgar Wright's use of music in this film. First off, the soundtrack is amazing. I can't wait to get my hands on it. But it sort of reflects the mood of the scene and how Baby is feeling. And most of the time, the scene is cut to whatever song is playing. And I like that because it gives it a little bit of rhythm and it leads to some really amazing car chases. These car chases are some of the best I've seen this year. Across the board, there's some really solid performances in this. Ansel Elgort as Baby is really good. I will say that at the beginning of the film, his, his uh, performance is a little wooden when it comes to delivering his dialogue, but that's more of a character arc type of thing, and I really like how his character progresses throughout this film. Kevin Spacey is an absolute badass in this movie. I loved his character. I got a little bit of a Francis Underwood tone from him, but just a little bit dialed down, a little bit more relatable, but... Kevin Spacey is always great. I love seeing him in this film. Jamie Foxx is probably going to have the performance that everybody's going to be talking about because he plays the loose cannon of the crew and he makes rash, quick decisions. He's the character in the film that you're going to love to hate and I really liked his performance in this film. I love the well-placed and well-timed humor in this film. It just never felt out of place and compared to some of the other movies I've seen this year, it just felt natural and the way that the lines were delivered by the actors just added more to the joke and it made it that much more funny. Um, there's a lot of setup and payoff that goes in this film. Things that are, are mentioned in the beginning of the film and come to to pay off at the end. There's a lot of that going on. I love how Edgar Wright was able to, to achieve that in this film. And another thing that he that I think Edgar Wright is really good at is holding my interest throughout the entire film. He has a knack for taking even the most boring situation and making it interesting and fun. For example, the first time Baby meets his love interest in this movie played by Lily James, there's this whole bit with the sound recorder that goes back and forth between them. And without it, the scene probably would have played out a lot more dull and a lot that much more uninteresting. This movie has a nice amount of unpredictability as well. Certain movies that I've seen, I've been able to see where the story's been going, and if there was a twist, I've been able to see it coming. But for the most part, this movie plays out in a way that you really don't see coming. It's not a bait and switch, but you, you think things are going to happen a certain way, and they sort of happen a different way, and I like how that played out. Overall, I really, really enjoyed this film, but I do have a couple of problems with it. The second act compared to the first and third act does drag a little bit. The romance between Lily James and Enzel Elgort's character does seem a little bit rushed in the beginning, but thankfully their chemistry sort of saves that. And the ending does suffer from a bit of Return of the King type of ending, where like, you think this is ending, then it keeps going and going. And I kind of had a bit of a problem with that. But overall, again, I really, really dug this film. And if you get take one thing from this review is go out and see this film. It absolutely deserves to have a big opening number. So just go out and see this film. You will not be disappointed. I can't say enough. I absolutely love this film. This is a pleasant surprise coming out of it. This is an Edgar Wright film through and through. I love the editing, the use of music, the acting, the humor, and the awesome car chases. So I'm giving Baby Driver five stars. So I can't say it enough, go out and see this film. If you did, let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. Hit that thumbs up button if you like this review and be sure to check out some of my other videos on this channel to stay up to date on all of those. Hit the subscribe button right there. Thanks as always for watching and I'll see you in the next video.